Hello everyone and welcome back to Skyrim. I have just learned the clear skies shout. I actually kind of forgot to record that part. And I but now we are going to head up to Parthenax. By blowing away the bad weather. I think there's going to be some fighting along the way, but nothing we can't handle. Whoa, 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 whoa. I do like the speech craft just increased with just shouting. Oh, really? I thought the distance between the walls here were further away. Yeah, like, how does a goat live up here? As you can see, it's already almost dead. Ay -ay -ay. I'm assuming just because it spawned when I got near. Oh! Okay, now that. Good max. There is no higher. I guess I'll just leave that to you guys then. All right. Glass golem, of course. Why wouldn't there be one up here? Oh, cool. It's pretty cool that the arrows just bounce off so I can collect them back. <coughs> Excuse me. Aw, oh, the goats. Goodbye, goats. I knew you well. Whoa. You know what? Let's go melee, melee. F one, here we go. When do you ever really use the clear sky shout after this section? I don't think I've ever used it. Have I? Is there a spot later on in the main storyline where you have to use it? Well, it's actually been a long time since I've reached the end of the, of the main storyline. After the first time I beat it, back when the game first came out, I never really went back to play it again. That should be it. You should be at the top. Excellent. Throat of the world. Hello, Parthenax. Drem Yolok. Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? <laughs> uh... So you're the master of the Greybeards. They see me as master. Wuth Onik, old and wise. It is true I am old. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? I need to learn the Dragon Ren's shout. Can you teach me? Mm. Drem, patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. 
Okay. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bone. Right, I'm gonna have to get the, uh... No, I don't have it on. I don't have it favorited? Huh. It's just unrelenting force. Match it, if you are Dovahkiin. I have spoken. The Rotmulag waits. Oh. Oh, okay, I have to do this one. Oh, it's kind of hot. Okay, so I guess we use that instead. Uh, did it not activate yet? Do not be afraid. Fasnu, let me feel. There we go. Oh, you know what? Why not just unlock the second class? The power of your Thum. <laughs> feel the power of my Thum. <laughs> Yes, Sosedo Vlostmul. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. So, you have made your way here to me. What no the f easy task for a What the What is going on? Uh, hey, can you teach me the dragon run shout? You're gonna have to speak up. Can't really hear you. Good thing there's these magical words right here. I do seek the weapon against Alduin. Oh, okay. Love this. It's pretty cool. Um, can I just tab out and maybe we can talk to him again? Okay, so ah, I have expected you. You would not yep. come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Do you know Dragon Run or not? Crosis. Sorrowfully, no. It cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. How can I learn it then? Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this, Thum? <laughs> hmm. I like this world, and I don't want it to end. Prusa, as good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end, so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? The next world will have to take care of itself. Pause. A fair answer. Rofus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. 
Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus. now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? Hmm. I never thought about it. This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim, Zokravakstruma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. And they were using the Dragon Run shout, right? Mm, yes and no. Viknuzni Karon. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be <laughs> here today seeking to defeat, defeat him. him. <laughs> the Nords like of one. those days used the Dragon Rend shout to cripple Alduin. But this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. <laughs> For I, I just remembered when you fight Alduin after you learn the Dragon and shout that damn line. Parthenax like. Dragon or Dovahkiin, use Dragon Rind if you know it. Anyway. So, are you saying that ancient Nords sent Alduin forward in time? Mm, not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever. Forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Hmm. Would Ko know what an Elder Scroll is? Probably not. What is that? Hmm. How to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist. But it has always existed. Rahwatlan. They are mm, fragments of creation. The Kele, Elder Scrolls, as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. Zofa Suryek. And how does any of this help me? Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. 
You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. It's a good plan, Parthenax. I think it has a high success, or high chance of success. Do you know where I can find an Elder Scroll? Krosis, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Hmm. Yes. These two might have some ideas. Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Your blood will show you the way. Hmm. Yeah, let's ask this. I cannot tell you in detail. I never heard it used. Korgon. It was the first whom created solely by mortals. It was said to force a dragon to experience the concept of mortality. A truly von Mindoran. Incomprehensible idea to the immortal Dove. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever asked this question. So, do others come here to train? Hmm. I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovahkiin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. You meditate on the words. How? Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovakin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Faim, and Yol. Hmm. Yol. In your tongue, the word simply means fire. It is change given form, power at its most primal. That is the true meaning of Yol. Solyek, power, you have it, as do all Dove. But power is inert without action and choice. Okay. Think of this as the fire builds in your sum, in your breath. Sum Ark Mora. What will you burn? What will you spare? The fire within added. Okay. Thank you for your time, Parthenax. Look, Thum. Huh. Fire within. Ah, okay. Alright, yeah, that makes sense. Sure. Alright, so from here on out, I think what we do... I think... Let me just double check here. Yeah. So we'll go back to Esbern. Esbern will be like, hey, maybe you should talk to the people in the College of Winterhold. And I'll be like, okay, let's go to the College of Winterhold. And then I'm going to get stopped by the lady at the front gate of the College of Winterhold. She's going to be like, hey, how about you cast a stupid simple spell for me so you can prove that you can get in here? I'll be like, all right. And I'll cast a simple spell. We'll go through there. We'll talk to a librarian. The librarian will be like, hey, maybe you should go talk to this guy out here who's a hermit now. Um, and then we'll go talk to him. So what I think I'm going to do, because it's a lot of just more talking and honestly boring stuff, I kind of want to just skip through it. I'm probably going to do the next couple parts by myself without recording it. That's why I just kind of told you what happens in case you don't know. Uh, those are going to be my actions, unless I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what happens from here. And then this hermit guy is going to send us to a Dwemer Ruin to go find the scroll and the Dwemer Ruin. 
Hmm, I actually think you have to go... I think this is where you have to go underground in that... Uh, whatever that huge place is called with all the Falmer and the Dwemer. It's like the giant cave under Skyrim. I think that's where you go. I think. But anyway, so I will see you all next time when I... I'll probably start when I enter the Hermit's Cave, which I think is up here or up here. Somewhere up here. So thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you all next time. Take care.